Another major tournament just finished, with over a thousand smashers making their way to California in hopes of becoming the 2GG Congo Saga champion. Grand Finals was a familiar matchup. World number one MK Leo with his Joker and world number two Tweak, this time choosing Wario from his crop of characters. Tweak started off with big momentum, taking a 2-0 lead and even two-stocking Leo both games. With the strong possibility of a bracket reset looming overhead, Leo flicked a switch somewhere in his head and completely reversed the momentum. He two-stocked Tweak in game three and carried the rush to a swift reverse 3-0, winning the tournament. This isn't the first time Leo has made an insane comeback with Joker. Ever since the character's release in April, Leo has found incredible success, dominating nearly every tournament he's entered. Although he's dropped sets to players like Nairo, Mars, and Samsora, Leo's Joker has been so consistent that many in the community are expressing boredom with his repetitive wins. Even though Leo has by far the best results with the character, Zachary and Tweak have also picked up Joker, both getting good wins with him recently. So how is Joker winning so much? Is it just Leo's skill, or is the masked DLC fighter incredibly broken? Before we find out, make sure you guys head over to ProGuides.com if you really want to level up your Smash Ultimate skills. There we've got character guides, tier lists, and courses taught by pros like MKLeo himself that are designed to help you improve. You can also take advantage of our Play With Pros platform to get instant access to personal coaching. Now, on with the video. When asked for a ratio of his own skill to Joker's character strengths, MKLeo said he thinks his wins are around 60% him and 40% Joker. At first, this might seem to imply that Leo is hard-carrying Joker, but in reality, any top player is going to pull their character beyond their raw strengths with player skill. So 40% is still a lot that Joker does for Leo, in his opinion, at least. So what makes Joker strong enough to take 40% credit for several super major tournament wins? Let's start by talking about Arsene. Arsene is Joker's best asset by far. When his rebellion gauge is full, Joker releases his persona, Arsene, which turns his moveset to overdrive. Arsene matches Joker's moves, adding tons of damage, knockback, and range to his normal attacks. In this state, Joker's special moves are also overhauled. His side B turns from Aha to Aegon, a super fast projectile that travels across most of the stage and deals as much as 20 damage. Aegon also creates an explosion when colliding with the stage, making this move very hard to avoid. With Arsene, no deficit is too much to come back from. His damage output allows Joker's normal combos to take opponents to kill percent in just a few hits, and his increased knockback redefines what kill percent is in the first place. Arsene also adds a spike hitbox to Joker's down air. This augments Joker's already incredible edge guarding. Arsene back air can kill at like 60 off stage, by the way. Demolishing vertical recoveries and taking stocks at virtually any percent. That's not all, however. Arsene down air is also an amazing kill confirm, comboing into his brutal up smash and at higher percents, aerials. Arsene rewards the player for skillful gameplay, as the duration he remains active is diminished when Joker takes hits. On the contrary, Arsene is also such a strong comeback mechanic because the meter that charges leading to his activation is filled up additionally when Joker gets hit. This means that whether Joker is winning or losing in percent, he's always in a good position thanks to Arsene. Although Arsene is easily Joker's strongest trait, he's far from incapable on his own. Solo Joker can sometimes struggle to close out stocks, but he excels in every other department. Starting with the neutral game, Joker has great movement and a plethora of options to keep his opponents guessing. Joker's quick dash dance allows him to whiff punish almost anything on reaction and freely traverse the stage as needed for each situation. He also has a fast fall speed, which lets him whiff punish and pressure from the air as well. Joker's swift movement is aptly complemented by his grab and moveset in general. Because of his consistent grab combos that we'll cover in a bit, Joker can simply just whiff punish with a grab in almost any situation, but he has so many more options. Dash attack is a fast burst option that Joker can use to punish opponents who retreat, punish landings, and whiff punish. Forward tilt is a fairly safe two-hit move that can be used to whiff punish with less commitment and pressure shields. Down tilt can cross up shields and helps Joker escape corner pressure and low profile aerials. When it comes to Joker's aerials and neutral, his neutral air is a versatile option that can be used offensively or defensively. Being safe on shield, Joker can pressure opponents who hold block with Nair, and he can also undershoot to catch over-aggressive approaches. Nair also combos into grab and dash attack, making this a low-risk, high-reward move. 
At higher percents, Joker can get multiple kill confirms off of the first hit of forward air. Fair one combos into a falling up air, which can be converted into a down smash or up smash if there's a platform overhead. Even though Joker's Sans Arsene can struggle to kill, these confirms still give him a means of KOing at around 130%. Like these fair confirms, another aspect that makes Joker so solid is his combo game. Joker will get most of his combos from a grab, which makes it particularly scary to shield against him. At low percents, Joker can combo aerials out of his down throw or up throw. If he's below a platform, an up throw up air can be extended further with additional aerials. If the opponent DI's suboptimally, Joker can even loop his down throw with falling up airs. At mid percents, single aerial follow-ups from down throw still remain. All of these combos result in a character who can rack up damage consistently. When a true combo ends, and even just in neutral, Joker has tons of mix-ups to vary how he plays the game. A good majority of his mix-ups come from the use of Gun and Aha, Joker's special moves. Even with just his neutral air, Joker has the flexibility to play in or out, and he can completely switch up to a much campier style at any time by throwing out Gun and Aha. Gun can be fired twice in one short hop, with the first shot acting as a great anti-air in mid-range to stuff out jump approaches. From here, Joker can opt to fire the second shot and attempt to follow up further, or Gun dash away to escape danger. Aha moves slowly, but travels far and has a useful angle. This move lets Joker play from an even greater distance while he waits for his Rebellion Gauge to charge. These options can frustrate opponents and force them to approach. These mix-ups can be infused into Joker's advantage state for more damage and creativity. Following opponents with guns or Aha at the end of a combo adds additional pressure and baits defensive options, and Joker has another mix-up to catch jumps, Grappling Hook. Grappling Hook has tons of range, so Joker can attack aerial opponents from a safe distance without even leaving the ground. With such an oppressive juggling game, opponents will often drift to ledge in order to land against Joker. From here, Joker's ledge trapping shines. His fast dash keeps his options ambiguous, and the long-lasting hitboxes on neutral air can be used to cover a variety of options. Forward tilt can safely punish neutral getup, jump, and sometimes even roll, and rising or falling back airs are a quick option that can be used on reaction. With or without Arsene, Joker has some of the best edge guarding in the game. The low end lag on back air allows him to swing multiple times off stage, and the range on Grappling Hook or Wings of Rebellion lets him go super deep and still recover. With Grappling Hook, Joker's recovery can be very difficult to deal with and also provides him with some interesting mix-ups. For one thing, the Grappling Hook reaches extremely far, and its first use before Joker grabs ledge or touches the ground starts with a small jump. As soon as the hook snatches the ledge, Joker can very quickly ride it up. He can mix up the timing of this ascent to throw off opponents who try to hit him on his way up as well. Joker can also tether cancel this move by flicking down after the hook catches the ledge. This will cancel the grappling hook, but after it is pulled Joker, altering his position. From here, he can do anything, such as another grappling hook, or even go for a gun dash onto the stage. These mix-ups make grappling hook particularly hard to edgeguard in most matchups, so Joker can essentially recover for free. With Arsene, his recovery changes to Wings of Rebellion. This move travels extremely far and even has a period of invincibility on its way up. It is pretty easy to two-frame though, but mixing up the timing and throwing out Aegon can keep Joker safe. Joker also has a really unique edge guarding option with his down guns. By firing his guns downward, Joker can interrupt recoveries and double jumps without any knockback. This results in a move that can gimp so many characters in many situations and at the very least deal some additional damage to recovering opponents without risk. Down guns aren't just good off stage though, they also give Joker an amazing disadvantage state. When landing, he can shoot guns downward to thwart any vertical juggling attempts and the guns can be quickly cancelled into anything else. This includes Rebel's Guard, which is a special counter-style move that Joker can use to charge his Rebellion Gauge if he's hit during it. Rebel's Guard lets Joker get Arsene much more quickly without needing to take lots of damage. It also activates on frame 3, making it effective for breaking combos. This can condition opponents to play more passively when Joker is in disadvantage, giving him an easier time landing. In summary, Joker is piloted by the best player in the world, MKLeo, but he has an arsenal of amazing character traits to back him up. Versatile neutral, consistent combos, potent edge guarding, pesky disadvantage state, not to mention the devastating buffs from Arsene, all make Joker a bona fide top tier character. He's quite likely number one in Smash Ultimate, and it's no surprise to see him jogging from one victory screen to the next. 
What do you think makes Joker so successful? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications to keep up with all of our videos.